Hello again, everybody. Uh, welcome to my next Blu-ray DVD update video. I'm um, going to try and get through these ones as fast as I can. And, uh, yeah, um, check out the other updates. Um, there's really not much for me to say other than that, so we're going to get right into it. So the first DVD that I picked up was the Naked Gun Trilogy with Leslie Nielsen. Um... Back when parody films were actually still good and still a thing, um, this was kind of a um, spoof of the police procedural um, cop movies, detective series, detective shows and stuff. And um, yeah, I haven't watched uh, Two and a Half and Thirty Three and a Third. Great titles, by the way. Um, but I did watch uh, the first film, and it was it was okay. Um, it wasn't the same kind of quality as like Airplane, because it's from the same creator, so that's kind of how I based it off of. Um, it had some really good uh, visual humor. There was a lot of subtle stuff. Um, some of the like loud, more obvious jokes kind of fell flat for me, but there was a lot of really good subtle jokes um, that they they just don't even like draw attention to, and I think those are the funnier moments. Um, so I'm still interested in checking out the second and the third film, um, just to see. I've heard that they, they're not much, like, they're worse than the first film, um, but I know the first film's got, like, has been held in, uh, high regard, so I had to pick this one up, uh, finally give it a, give it a shot, and, uh, like I said, the first one was pretty entertaining, and, uh, I'm still looking forward to watching the other two, so. The next DVD is... Sing from Illumination. Um, not my favorite Illumination film. Um, not the worst though. Uh, the songs were actually done pretty, pretty uh, well done. Um, they actually handled the multiple characters elements fairly well compared to a lot of other films that have like this big ensemble character cast. Um, the animation is pretty good. Um, in my last one, I talked about uh, Despicable Me 3, and I said that the colors were very vibrant. They're very vibrant here. Um, and like I said, the music is really the main draw for this one for me and my wife. Um, we could really care less about the characters and stuff, but the we just kind of wanted the, the music to be good and to be entertaining. And uh, the last 20 or so minutes, I think, where they put on the big show is uh, very entertaining to watch, and it's... Uh, it's well done in terms of the animation and uh, just the overall feeling and effect. Uh, the next DVD is a film I haven't seen in a few years, and that is The Bone Collector. found this at the uh, second-hand store. And uh, my wife and I watched it on Netflix, I want to say four or five years ago. And uh, we really enjoyed it. Uh, really liked Denzel Washington. Thought it was a good mystery, suspense, thriller kind of movie, and um, so we saw this at uh, a second-hand store for a couple bucks, and so we decided to pick it up. We're gonna give it another. We're gonna give it a another watch, to see if it holds up or if it's not that great. Um, so, but the I re-looked at the cast and I was like, I didn't realize that like Queen Latifah was in it or Michael Rooker. It's not really coming into focus, but. Um, or Ed O'Neill were in these was in this, so it's actually going to be really interesting to watch this and uh, to see some of these actors that I didn't know about at the time, like when we first watched this. So um, yeah, it'll be uh, be a fun mystery to watch later. Uh, the next DVD I picked up was Fanboys. Um, saw this at the dollar store for like three bucks and. Uh, Actually, I think it came. I think I found this like a week before the Last Jedi came out, so it was kind of, kind of perfectly, uh, timed to get it. But uh, I remember really, really loving this film. Um, as a Star Wars fan, I found, I got a lot of the jokes. I thought it was really funny. Um, this movie is littered with cameos, and it's pretty awesome. Um, I. No, there's a bit of like a main story to it, and it was okay. Um, but I was here mostly for like the Star Wars references and stuff. So, um, 
Yeah, it's been a few years since I saw this one, but yeah, I had to pick it up when I saw it dirt cheap like I did. So, And then the final DVD is another movie that uh, has always been on my watch list and still is on my watch list. I haven't watched it yet, but found it at a thrift store again, and um, I've been really wanting to see it, and that is Showtime with De Niro and Eddie Murphy. Um, I remember wanting to see this maybe roughly around when it came out. Yeah, I guess 2002, so I would have been old enough to know it. And, uh, yeah, I never was able to get my hands on a copy, was never able to get around to watching it. Saw it on TV a couple of times, but I just, I don't like watching movies on TV because of the whole, like, commercial thing. Now with PVR and stuff, I can fast forward over those and re record it and watch it at a later date, which is nice, but, uh, back then... Yeah, I was never a fan of really watching movies on TV, so I look forward to uh, checking this one out the next time we are in the mood for a action comedy kind of movie. So, now we're going to move on to the Blu-rays and kind of glancing at the pile. I've actually watched a lot of these, um, so it's not going to be like the last couple of update videos where I was like, oh yeah, I haven't watched this or whatever. So, um, that being said, the first one uh, I haven't watched, um, that is Ice Age 5. Five? Yeah. Collision Course. Whoops. Um, I like the Ice Age movies. I like the first one. The second one's not great, but it's better than I remember it being. The third one's actually really funny with Simon Pegg's character. The fourth one's kind of eh, and I really wasn't getting strong vibes from this one either, watching the trailer. But uh, I'm kind of a completionist, so we found this for like really cheap at Walmart and decided to pick it up. And, uh, but just haven't had the desire to really watch it yet. Um, we're really not expecting a lot out of it. We're kind of expecting to kind of mainly, maybe not hate it because we do own it, but we're probably, we're not expecting to really enjoy it either. So it's kind of one of those, like, it's really been pushed to the back burner to whether or not we're, when we're going to watch it. So that's all I've got to say about that one. Uh, the next film, one that I've seen. Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, and it came with the cape, which is kind of awesome too. Um, I grew up re watching, or sorry, I grew up reading the Captain Underpants novels. Um, I thought they were really funny, kind of crude, but I was kind of into that kind of thing. So when they announced that they were doing an animated movie, I was skeptical because I know how animated movies are these days. They're pretty watered down, kind of like, yeah, they're, they're hit and miss a lot of the time. But uh, when the first trailer dropped, I saw the animation. I really liked how it looked compared to the uh, the old book. I thought the animation looked really nice. It's got that um, kind of Peanuts movie animation on the faces, which I thought was kind of cool. And uh, yeah, this movie was actually a ton of fun. It's um, very energetic. It's very colorful. Um, it's uh, it's well voice like the voice acting is really well done. And, uh, yeah, I just, I had a really good time with this one. Um, it was very entertaining, and it was a, a big surprise. And, uh, kind of one of the reasons why I do go into movies nowadays with lower expectations, because then when it's this good, it's actually a, um, a breath of fresh air, and it's actually refreshing to, uh, to see something really good. Uh, the next Blu-ray, um, is one that I saw years and years ago, and I picked it up for my wife. For Christmas, and that is Runaway Jury. It's uh, a favorite of hers. She really enjoys this movie. And uh, I remember when we watched it, I don't even want to guess how many years ago, um, I thought it was really entertaining. Um, I thought it was performed really well. I thought it had a good, uh, thrilling atmosphere. So, um, yeah, when I saw it, because she, her parents owned it. It wasn't hers. So when I found it, I was I decided to get her her own copy. So... Um, haven't re -watch haven't watched the Blu-ray of it yet, um, but uh, she's seen it a couple times, so she knows it's one that she really likes, and like I said, I remember enjoying it myself. Oops. Uh, the next film is another film from my childhood, sort of, kind of, my younger years, and that is Black Dog with Patrick Swayze. My um, dad used to be a truck driver, so anytime a movie came out that involved truck driving or 18-wheelers, he was all over it. And uh, so when this came out, he... Um, he bought himself a copy, and we watched this movie on repeat. Um, just a, you know, I just remember enjoying watching this with my, with my dad a lot. 
So when they announced that they were doing a Blu-ray of it, I was like, okay, I gotta get a copy of that, because it's either that or my dad's old VHS copy of it. Um, and then I gotta go borrow it from him, so I figured I'd get my own copy on Blu-ray. And uh, it, it still holds up. Um, I did actually watch this shortly after buying it. I was really desperate to watch it, because um, there's been a couple of movies that I saw when I was younger that I thought were amazing when I was younger, and then I rewatched them, and I turns out that they're like total crap um so i was kind of nervous that this was going to be the same way but this is actually a really solid action driving movie there's a lot of practical stunts which was really awesome to see because a lot of movies these days do like the cgi enhancing and stuff um the acting is it's okay the story is kind of bare bones it's just one of those kind of like you throw it on it's a good action movie you just kind of go with it and uh yeah i was actually very happy that it um it held up after all these years. Um, so that's Black Dog. So yeah, if you're a fan of Patrick Swayze, uh, truck driving movies, action movies in general, and country music, um, give this one a shot. Uh, the next film was a film I got for Christmas, and that is War for the Planet of the Apes. Um, this was a blind get because I hadn't seen it when I got it. And uh, this was a fantastic film. The Visual effects are gorgeous. Um, the motion capture work is phenomenal. Um, this is just a perfect well-rounding to the trilogy. Um, I was actually able to watch all of the uh, the other two movies, um, Rise and Dawn, before getting to watch this when I got it. And uh, it just is a solid trilogy. It works so well. Um, I've heard that there's people that were disappointed by this because it wasn't as, like, action-packed because it's called War. But uh, it's, uh, it's just such a great film. Um, and it's two and a half hours, but it does not feel it. Um, just a really great story. Matt Reeves did a phenomenal job directing this and Dawn. And, uh, yeah, the overall trilogy is just a well-put-together piece of cinema. So that's all I've got to say about that. Uh, the next film is one of my, or not one of, it is my all-time favorite film of 2016, and that is Swiss Army Man. Um, when they came out with the premise of this saying that Daniel Radcliffe plays a farting corpse, I was interested but skeptical, um, because, you know, farts can be funny. I find farts funny. I'm juvenile that way, so what? Um, but... To do a whole film around that, I wasn't sure, and I saw the trailer, and I was completely baffled by how bizarre it actually looked, and um, was kind of in, I was very interested to see how this was going to play out, and this film is just so fantastic. It's very original. It's I've never seen anything like this film. Um, it's certainly not for everybody, it's very bizarre, it's very out there, um, but it's, and I know normally, I can't normally do bizarre kind of films, there's been a few that I've tried and I've gotten through them, but kind of went like, I don't know if I'll ever watch that again, but I've seen this movie, I, I want to say three times, but I may have only seen it twice, um, but this film is just fantastic, and, uh, yeah, this was a great Christmas present from my in-laws, so thank you very much if you guys are happen to be watching this. Um, great Christmas present, great movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend seeing this if you can do strange, bizarre movies. And if you can't, I vote you give it a shot anyways. Maybe. I don't know. So, that's all i got to say about that. Um, I'm kind of running out of bat or, uh, time and memory on my cards, so i got to speed this up. So... Um, <laughs> The next set I picked up was the Mummy Collection. Uh, this came out in June, I want to say, just before the uh, Tom Cruise Mummy movie came out, which was not great. Um, I had a ticket to go see it, so I was able to go see it for free. But this includes The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, and The Scorpion King, which I thought was really cool. Because um, the last Blu-ray set only had the first two movies, and uh, or had only the three movies, and you had to get The Scorpion King separately. So when I found... So when I saw that they were releasing this, I was like, well, you know what? I'll hold off. Um, I picked this up with Birthday Money, which coincidentally, last year for my birthday, I almost got the trilogy and was glad that I didn't because I was able to get the Scorpion King. Um, 
and I rewatched all of these before seeing the Tom Cruise movie, and these movies hold up. Um, I really like the first one. The second one has some corny issues, like it has some silliness to it, um, but overall was entertaining. I still think the second one's actually my favorite. Um, the third one, I, uh, I'm torn on the third one. It's got some good adventure points, but it's just not as good as the first two. Um, and then Scorpion King's actually pretty decent. It's a silly, corny, goofy action movie. Um, but it's like the first movie that had The Rock in like a starring role. And uh, I really like Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, however you want to call him. And uh, yeah, it's just an overall fun adventure set. So I was actually very happy to pick this up. And uh, yeah, they, they still hold up. They're still very entertaining little films. And uh, I'm glad that I finally have them on Blu-ray. And the final one here to talk about is another birthday movie, another movie that my in-laws gave me, and that is The Accountant. Um, this was a fantastic film. Um, I love Ben Affleck. Uh, I love the concept of this film. This was just a very well done, well put together movie, and I wasn't expecting as much action in it as I got. Um, I was expecting this to be more dramatic and thriller with maybe like one or two very quick action scenes, but uh, the action scenes that were here, they were actually prolonged, and there was actually a few of them, so I was very surprised by that, and uh, yeah, this was a very, very fascinating and very well put together film, and uh, I actually really want to watch this again, um, but uh, I kind of want to want to watch it with my wife, so um, we're going to have to wait a while, because she's not a huge action movie fan, but anyways... So yeah, that's all I really have to say about The Accountant. It's got great performances, got great action, very intriguing, good kind of mystery to it as well. And uh, if you like Ben Affleck, I highly recommend checking this one out. So that's uh, it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you yourself are jonesing for film.